Your membership investment in the Springfield Area Chamber of Commerce supports the creation of more opportunities for your business to succeed. Here's a quick snapshot of what's coming up next and what we've been up to in recent weeks to grow jobs, workforce, and investment in the Springfield region. Make plans now to join us for the upcoming 2020 Manufacturing Outlook. You'll be able to tune in virtually on Thursday, December 3rd for an inside look at national trends impacting Springfield's manufacturing industry, a key driver of our regional economy. The event is hosted by the Chamber's economic development arm, the Springfield Business Development Corporation. And you can click below for more details. Retiring Evangel University President Dr. Carol Taylor shared valuable leadership insights and observations from a stellar career in higher education. Anyone who knows Dr. Carol Taylor knows that one of her favorite mantras, especially lately, is blessed are the flexible. One look back at Taylor's career in education shows she has taken that advice to heart in her own professional evolution. Our virtual interview covered a wide range of topics from the highlights of Taylor's 25-year career in higher education to leadership during the coronavirus pandemic and how she works to improve her school and her community. Click the link below for a recent blog article that expands on our conversation. The final edition of our Public Policy Speaker Series this year will be presented in December. Missouri House of Representatives Speaker Elijah Haar will be our guest for that virtual event. Speaker Haar is set to finish his final term in the Missouri House of Representatives at the end of this year. We look forward to exploring his reflections about his service in the legislature and his insights about what lies ahead for the state, as well as forecasting legislation that could impact your businesses and our economy. The Chamber of Commerce Young Professionals Group, The Network, will be hosting its second SGF Forum this year at no cost. This summit-style event is focused on community and professional development with keynotes and topical mini-sessions. The opening keynote speaker is Jason Roberts, founding director of The Better Block. Roberts is an artist, civic activist, and urban designer whose life's work has been dedicated to the creation of healthy, vibrant, and sustainable neighborhoods. The closing session keynote speaker is Beth Silvers, co-host of the Pantsuit Politics podcast who draws on her experience as an attorney and human resource executive to discuss why healthy organizations need regular, focused disagreement that enhances decision making. I just want to encourage all of you who employ YPs to allow them to tune in to this high quality half day program designed especially for their development. You can click the link below for additional details. As we work to grow the Springfield area's working population, which fuels the growth and prosperity of our region, we are focused on retaining the incredible pool of talent that comes here for higher education. To that end, we've developed the Campus SGF Guide for College Students Living and Working in Springfield. This guide is meant to help students explore the off-campus community and all it has to offer with the goal of getting them to consider remaining and starting their careers here. I know firsthand it can be really hard to get off campus and explore Springfield. So today I want to share with you a new resource we have put together just for college students called Campus SGF. Campus SGF is an insider guide for college students to give you a glimpse of what life is truly like in Springfield. We spend quite a bit of time on campus presenting to students about the misconceptions of living here after you graduate, and our interactions with you helped us to know what type of information to provide. To view that entire video outlining the Campus SGF publication, just click the link below. Congratulations to Academy of Hair Design, the 2020 W. Curtis Struby Small Business Award recipient. I want to extend thanks to our staff. They're the ones that make things happen. Our education staff, our management staff, and especially our students. Thank you so much. We're proud to be here. Thank you. It was great to learn about the recipient and the four other incredible finalists for this prestigious honor at our Small Business Award virtual event this year. Be sure to visit the link below to view the great profile video from this year's award ceremony. Keynote speaker Dr. Spencer Harris of Mostly Serious also presented some valuable data for small businesses, 
gathered from a recent study we partnered on about the digital behavior of local consumers. Would you be willing to go to a store or pay more to shop at a local organization rather than buy from a national retailer? And overwhelmingly, people said yes. So much so, in fact, that we asked them, how much more would you be willing to pay for a similar service or product from a local organization as compared to a national brand or major retailer? And on average, people told us they'd be willing to pay, spend 17% or nearly 20% more on local goods or services if they could get them from somewhere in 417 land as compared to from a national brand or retailer. If you can, tell stories about the localness of your people, your services, your products, your goods, your partners, your vendors, to let people know that you are a local organization based in our community. And by and large, we think people will spend more money because of that. Thank you to our REACH campaign volunteers and all of you who participated in this opportunity to support the mission of the Chamber of Commerce. We are so grateful for your investment in the Chamber's quality events, programs, and initiatives. And a special thank you to our 2020 campaign chairman, Bob Hammerschmidt, who inspired and encouraged all of us every step of the way. Finally, remember that as our local, state, and federal leaders continue to work on pandemic-related policy, we need member engagement and feedback. We are your advocate and the voice of business in that process. So please visit our coronavirus webpage for continually updated resources, including recordings of our Good Morning Springfield programs and other educational presentations. You can also email us your questions and important feedback at COVID19info at springfieldchamber.com. Thank you for being a part of the Springfield Area Chamber of Commerce.